If you're tuning in, this is gonna be a rocking little session here on the Green River in Wisconsin. I just beat down on a dry fly and nymph action today. More dries than, than nymph actually, man. They were keyed in. So freaking cool. So stick around and uh, give it a watch. It's, it's a fun little session. So yeah, stick with and enjoy. All right, good morning, folks. Uh, Matt and I are here in the Driftless today um, at a really just primo stream. I'm not gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna get on the stream as the uh, sun's been coming up, weather's warming up. The red winged blackbirds are christening us with a beautiful morning song. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head upstream. Matt is gonna rig up, head downstream for a bit. And uh, we're gonna kind of meet up maybe in the middle towards the afternoon, but yeah, let's get after it. I'm super stoked for the day and uh, can't wait to see what this stream holds. Stick with. in that run you know trying my best and I wasn't quite sure if I was getting bites or not but look look at that folks that is a driftless dino man look at that fish that is a great way to freaking start a morning man on the mini meat whistle whistling a little a nice little tune oh very nice very nice oh gosh just Look at that pattern. That is a beauty of a brown trout. That is so sweet. I'm gonna get him in the net. Get you guys off the tripod here and get a release on him. Skunk is officially off for me. I hope Matt is having the same luck. Oh, see ya, buddy. Y'all, that is the start we want in this freaking river. Let's go. That was an awesome fish. That's, oh, that's so cool. I'll show you what I got him on. I got that bad boy on what I like to call a mini meat whistle. Patterns like this are really popular here in the Driftless. Um, just because there's a lot of forge fish, caught ads, and other invertebrates like that, that these brown trout just love to yomp down on. So that is a perfect example of what we want in a morning like this. That is, that is so sweet. I'm so stoked on that. Let's keep going upstream, see if we can't find some more. This seems to be a pretty popular little river. I've been seeing a lot of footprints around, so. I mean, after that first fish, I can kind of see why it might be. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we can get into some more like that. That's, that's really, really awesome. Great way to start the day. I've seen a couple wolves of the wolf pack coming up in this run. I can't really tell what they're going off on, but I think I think it's time to switch up. You know, I love nymphing just as much as the next guy, but I've been nymphing literally all winter. So the cool thing about this system is I don't have to rig up any new leaders. I don't have to really, uh, don't really have to do too much other than take it off the foam and tie it back on. With a little bit of work the night before, it took me all of uh, five minutes to totally re-rig two rods. There goes Matt. I guess he fished the first section already. <laughs> See you later, bud. Hope that means he uh, might have caught something. Who knows? But yeah, let's uh, let's get after it. Bent my hook out there, which uh, really stinking sucks. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, bent it right out. Rats. Switched up. It's not going to be as visible at least for me, but it's got a stronger hook on it. We'll see how that does. But we can, but we can make something happen out of that. Got on him, folks, on the dry fly. This is just an absolutely beautiful fish, and it bruised and bruised and fought me hard, man. Look at that fish. Look at that tail. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look 
at him, man. That is so sick. Let's get him on pin here. All right, hook is out. One last look at the guy. <laughs> on the dry fly, baby. <laughs> that is driftless spring all day. Wow, that tail. That, uh, that whole fish is just an absolute beauty. I hope that camera is doing her justice. Let's let her go. Don't tell your friends. Shh, shh, shh. That is a uh, that is a huge win for me right now. That is so sick. I don't know what you would call that, like a paradon or a, just like a midge emerger, something. But it uh, it did the money. It did the money, money. Before we jump back in there, gonna do a little shake and bake action on my uh, on my midge there. Snowball action. <laughs> Dry. Ready to get back in there. <laughs> That's so sweet. That was literally next cast. Whoa, this one is gold, gold, gold. I don't know, it's something about these Spring Creek ones. They're really primo Spring Creeks that just, I mean, the gold on that brown trout is just unstinking believable. Look at that. Got that, got that dry fly deep in there, man. God dang, did he eat that down. Oh, and just like that, it's out, let's go. Give you one last look at him before I let him go. Look at that fish. That is such driftless beauty right there, baby. God dang. Just up and down. Flawless fish, baby. That's sweet. Let's let him go real quick. See him swim. See ya, bud. I was, seriously, I was so late on that hook set. It was ridiculous. I wasn't, I didn't have my stuff ready at all. I just saw the whoop, and I'm like, oh no, no. <laughs> we are uh, getting them out of this run. That's two on the dry. That is so good. That is so freaking good. All right, let's uh, rinse and repeat and keep freaking at them. That's two really awesome browns. All on the dry. That bad boy right there has just been uh, doing the trick for me. That's that's so that's so hype, honestly. So I'm gonna get back in there. Hopefully we let uh, we let the the pool calm a little bit. And that one was towards the back too, which is really nice. Good for me. So yeah, let's rinse and repeat this. He was pissed off. I mean that, I don't think that that is uh, more perfect placement on that, uh, <laughs> on that dry fly. That is so sweet. Look at that fish, y'all. That is, uh, that is three excellent, excellent fish out of this run. Let's get him unpinned and back in the water. Looks out and we are going to slip him back in. Shoo. Pissed off, man. Pissed off. Let's go. <laughs> this is this is so sick, man. That is three excellent trout, and all the, all three of them, right in the slow stuff, just coming up and bam. <sighs> Wolfpack, baby. Wolfpack's out. God bless. <sighs> all right, rinse, repeat. Let's keep getting after him. So I noticed that one was coming up on uh, a skating fly and it was chasing it around. And uh, you know, I thought I had uh, well outdone the run. And uh, as I was walking back, I skated this bad boy across and uh, 
little, little guy had something to say about it, damn. Did he ever yomper yomper that down, look at that. That is another just beauty of a fish. Look at this, God bless. That is, uh, that is awesome. And we are a uh, little two-hander, two-hander howdy doody. That is sweet, man. And he is back. Okay, so that could not have been a better way to start the morning. Getting on the dry fly bite that we just did, that's freaking driftless springtime money. That's so good. That gets me jacked up. I've been nymphing all freaking winter, and it is so nice to get on some dry fly action on some buttery golden brown trout. That is so sweet. So let's keep moving up and uh, yeah, try and get a few more. Dude, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, these fish are, these are legit some pretty, pretty fish. Man, no, don't do it, don't jump. Let's, uh, let's get him unpinned here. All right, hook is out, and that's, uh, that's what she got right there, baby. Ah, let's go. Just pissed off. Pissed off, man. <laughs> We're locked and loaded, ready to go. Get back in there. Oh, man, these fish are really, we have just keyed in, just zeroed in on a freaking pattern here. Oh, that's another just beautiful one. Golly, man. Just great, great trout. These fish are so nice. Man, that's, uh, that's right where you want it to. If you're a dry fly fishing right there, that is right where you want it. <laughs> Hook is out. And he is. Oh, he's pissed off, baby. You. That was nasty. That was nasty. Not the. Not quite sure how much that y'all caught, but we got ourselves another one. This one. Whew. He was. Fired the heck up, man. He was so pissed that I hooked his little booty. Hooked your little booty, boy. All right, should just pop right off like that. Bingo. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, ho, ho. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna let him go. All right. Don't tell your friends. I hope they don't tell their freaking friends. All right. So that was at the very bottom of this run. I bet we can get a couple more out of here. So gonna do my shake and bake, rinse, repeat routine and get back out there. All right, so I've had a couple little dinker bites. Um, told Matt I was supposed to meet him at noon. It is 11.50, so I'm gonna check the mini meat whistle in there. Just try and, uh, try and see if I can conjure up an aggressive fish and uh, yeah, who knows? On the meat whistle, baby. That is a nice chonker brown trout. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's nice. You know, I was chucking my dry fly in there. I didn't really expect to get anything else, but uh, that could easily, easily be my best fish of the day. Oh, buddy, he wants to go. He wants to go, but we gotta give him some golden glow attention because 
damn, that's a pretty fish. Phew. You know, I didn't really plan on nymphing with an eight weight, but you know, you gotta make do with what you got. I've never really been to this river before, so you know, I figured, oh, I'll do some streamer fishing, but that kind of went belly up when they started going off of dries. So that is the mini meat whistle, and uh, it did the job. Because <laughs> I can't whistle, wow. All right, it is just at noon. I see Matt's truck. I am going to uh, do a little extraction out of here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna find the next spot. So thanks for sticking with, and staying to, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the, the next little session here. It's gonna be, gonna be good if this morning session was any indication of what the day has to come. See you there. <laughs>